Hello, welcome to Yummy Creations. Look at this wonderful T-bone steak. Today, January 12, 2020, I'm about to cook it while I listen to KCSM. Wonderful jazz. Now I brown it for a few minutes on each side. I'll be adding, um, before I brown it, I do put the garlic salt, pepper, and salt on each side. And I use avocado oil because of its high smoking index. After, then I place it on the Gotham but, uh, bacon cooker. And um, for 450 oven for about 10 minutes, I will be uh, observing each uh, moment of the cooking. I am now browning uh, the T-bone steak approximately two minutes on each side. Turn this down just a little bit. I am the 450 oven waiting as we're all waiting. Some wonderful jazz on KCFM today. In, uh, Kansas City uh, Chiefs are losing the football game against the Texans. January 12, 2020. Oh, one, two, oh, two, oh. This is a leap year. No, I'm going to just move it around. I have the avocado oil. Not ready to turn over yet, but we're getting there. Now we're ready to turn it over. Look how nice and brown that is. And we can take the avocado that has the high smoking point. You don't have to worry that you're going to burn the oil. Take a little peek here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're going to keep it in the oven. A little peek as it's in the oven. You know, I shouldn't do that. It's going to affect the temperature. Five minutes has passed, and I'm going to take a look at it. This looks cooked very well. It looks like it's well done. The next step is to let this steak rest for at least 10 minutes. Let the steak rest for 10 minutes. And it's very uh, tender. And this is well done. But uh, that's how I'm making them these days. Probably if I was uh, 
one minute left in uh, the pan and the uh, oven. So there's your T-bone steak on this Sunday, January 12, 2020. I'm sauteing some peppers, orange peppers, I have it on the side with some rice. Have a great day.